if anything can go wrong it will that's why we always should plan in advance for possible disaster and strategies to recover from it in this video we will talk about two commonly used terminology rto and rpo in the context of disaster recovery for business continuity plan let's get into it everything was going smoothly in our application or business then all of a sudden disaster happened at this moment based on our current strategy or arrangement we have last data backup at this point so whatever happened with the data during this duration that will be lost we call this duration as rpo recovery point objective next we need to bring back the system and obviously it will take some time to recover the system after disaster happened system got recovered at this point in this duration system was down we call this duration as rto recovery time objective in summary rpo recovery point objective is the duration of data loss rto recovery time objective is the downtime of the application after disaster happened we all want zero data loss and zero downtime in our application or business but cost plays a major role in deciding these two sls because relationship is inverse for lower rpo and rto cost will be higher in the next video we will talk about different dia strategies and their cost implication stay tuned i learned a lot during my aws 11x certifications i will share all those resources here please consider subscribing to this channel if you are on the same journey